Hotel, send down your operator. Have no fear, fellow citizens. The mediator is here. Welcome back, welcome back. Now it's time to get to the top eight international headlines and developing news stories that made it this week. Presents of the cards are here. All world is filled with cheer. And me, and you, this Christmas, and as I look around, you're, all right, let's get to it. Don't you feel it? Don't you feel the Christmas spirit? Even when you're low on cash, there's something magical in the air. Woo! Let's get to it! Ah! Story number one, the growing conspiracy surrounding the fascination with our president, Donald Trump, who only has a few, I think not too much time left. The Washington Post has a big article discussing Rudy 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 Giuliani's loyalty to Donald Trump, along with other articles and opinion pieces pointing to other high level officials and uh, not just those in in the public eye. Now, it is very clear that the list of Trump followers spans from radio hosts to 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 a web weaved on a global scale. Pardon my tongue, tongue language, but when you're speaking in tongues, getting ready for the holiday season, it can get a little worn out. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. But this is not... Inside the story, this is not uh, what's all at stake here. Now, what got this is not the reason why the story got in. Now, what makes this story very, very amazing is how Trump has ignited a movement across the United States, catapulting him to being the face fueling the fire of an already polarized country. Now, where the Republican Party heads after a Trump presidency remains unknown, but it is clear that if America's system was not based on the principles of checks and balances there would be more old wounds opened up not seen in a long time on american soil so trump opened up a lot of of boxes pandora's boxes igniting the fuel in a lot of people's flames so that's why story number one is such a big big story vanity fair reports that there 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 has been more threats of violence that have been servicing from the right from the if you want to call it the right wing or a middle wing or whatever, it, but they're saying it's coming from the right. Now, this is after the confirmation of Joe Biden's win, who Joe Biden, is. Uh, the Democratic Party has been left for some time. So if you're just new to this uh, whole system of understanding where the pendulum turns, whether right or left, that's what's happening inside of story number one. But they're saying that the fire is burning on the right and it's causing a lot of problems with uh, threats, violence, and all that other stuff. So uh, that's why story number one is in this week. Forbes says that before Election Day, Trump moved a large amount of money from his campaign donor money into his business, which really adds even more to the growing conspiracy around his president. Story number one leaves a bitter taste in everyone's mouth, searching for the truth in, bal- in the balance of power. But a lot of Americans are ch- Americans are choosing to stay in the middle, while more are choosing to take action in every direction but in the mirror. I'm searching for the man in the mirror. Story number two. What did COVID-19 expose? Market Watch reports that Warren Buffett feels that the government needs to do more to help small businesses suffering on behalf of COVID-19. Another report in this story, some reports have been making headlines about the disparities connected to COVID-19 and ethnic racial groups. Now, pointing the, I guess this is pointing out how those with less have been placed at a disadvantage. Now, this is no matter what race, creed, or color you are, if you have less, the story is saying that you've been placed at a disadvantage. Now, the sad part about story number two is that if you don't have much to offer to society, then you're often last in line for what those contributing to society have to offer. Very, very sad truth inside of story number two. Now, carbon dioxide emissions, this is also another story, have reportedly dropped 
to record lows this year because of the world's reaction to COVID-19. That'd be lockdowns, less carbon emissions into the atmosphere. So there's something uh, that has that has been exposed inside of the COVID-19 battle. Some good, some bad. Now, apparently due to COVID-19, there has also been an increase in child abuse related hospitals admissions, according to a CDC report. So story number two put, points out all the fine details of what COVID-19 has exposed story number three big tech bumping heads with the government again story number three reveals a growing concern about big tech the question inside of the story is what did the world look like before the tech boom the reality was that there was a wall up in regards to information a lot of people were left in the dark technology to buildings you be talking about buildings filled with people and now Technology has them all, most of them working, the majority of them working from home. But the reality is that there are pros and cons in technology. Now, the pros outweigh the cons. The new topic of discussion now is what would happen if someone just all of a sudden pulled the plug on technology. Would the world be prepared? That's why story number three is so important. The United Kingdom plans to fine big tech companies like Facebook, Google, and Amazon 10% of their annual turnover because of illegal content on their sites, which have caused a lot of trouble. Keep an eye on story number three. It could bite you when you least expect it. Story number four. Does COVID-19 vaccination equal back to normal? I'm guessing not yet. One report by CNN says that it will take months before the economy even comes close to normal after vaccine distribution. So there's a lot happening inside of story number four. A lot of people wondering that if you've already had the virus, should you get vaccinated? There's a lot of mixed views on this uh, on this vaccination stuff. Now, there also seems to be mixed feelings about the vaccine in general. But the most recent survey says that most Americans will most likely get a COVID-19 vaccination. Another headline, more layoffs have also been reported as jobless claims went from 137,000 to 853,000, according to Mark a Market Watch report. Story number four shows a list of obstacles that must be overcome to get back to normal from COVID-19. Are we headed there? Will we ever get there? Well, those are our top four stories that I made it in this week. I'll be right back with the top, top four international headlines and developing new stories that I made it in this week. So don't go anywhere. I promise you'll learn something. You're the mediator. I'll be right back. You're the mediator with me, Brian West. I'll be right back. All aboard. <laughs> If you want to check out the stories that almost made it in or did make it in, go to our Twitter feed on our website. Check out everything. All of the sources are there. And go to the website. It's M-E-T-H-O-D, the number 8, I-N-C.com, Method8Inc.com, where you can buy something, click on something, watch something, read something, or just sponsor the program. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. Now it's time to get to the top, top four international headlines and developing news stories that made it this week. Don't you see that I love you all? I put on my Christmas suit this morning, came in, and I can feel the vibrations of the Christmas season. Ready for the greatest story of all time. Now, as the mediator, I was raised up to the clouds, born to mediate. And told by the prophets that foretold the future that greatness can only lie in mediation, which somebody has to do, especially around the holidays. Give love on Christmas Day, baby. Who? There's a man in the street and the couple upstairs, all ready to find out that someone cares. Whoo-wee! Ooze and machismo, baby. <laughs> Story, let's get to it. Story number five. A red, there are red flags, a few of them that are flying, linking China and COVID-19. This is a big, big headline. New stories are popping up, stirring the pot on a conspiracy, uh, the conspiracy that links China and COVID-19. Now, some of uh, this, some, some of this, these list of stories 
are a little older but can be traced back all the way back to 2019. This is stories that are linking China to COVID-19. Here's a list. Story number one, the Hong Kong protests. The question is, what message were they trying to send to the world? Big, big headline that you may want to uh, go back and check out. Story number two, a doctor supposedly send, sends a message to the world then all of a sudden goes missing. It's another headline that possibly connects China to COVID. More of, of what's happening inside of COVID-19. Here's another one. Story number three, a gene editing scientist from China makes headlines for the CRISPR tool. Now, these are all somehow connected to the red flags linking China to the conspiracy surrounding COVID-19. Story number four, a source leaks information that China has been hoarding genetic information for, from everybody, even in America. So that's why story number five is such a big, big headline. But there's, there's one last story that really is the big ticker. Story number five. Trump goes on the record calling it the China virus. Then he corners China into a trade war and targets some top Chinese company. Now, the question is, what doesn't the world know about what's behind the COVID-19 curtain? Now, in this developing story, some details uh, that some of the details that are out in the open may be in plain sight. That someone, they're saying that it could be factual that someone could be hiding something inside of this whole mixture. And only time will tell how this all irons out. Now, it is also good to note that journalists have been coming up missing. Story number five is heating up and is still developing. And that's why I made it in this video. Story number six, COVID-19 has some occupations thrown in the towel, but no matter what, even while they're throwing in the towel, science has made some great strides and is still advancing. Now, reports by CNBC says that 27% of teachers are considering throwing in the towel because of the difficulties brought on by COVID-19. The article highlights the increased load of being an educator. It also points out how many teachers Teachers just don't feel secure anymore. Some are throwing in the towel. Nurses all and healthcare workers have also seen a jump in retirement applications as well. Another headline, one ongoing development is that the advancements that COVID-19 has brought on when referring to the field of science. Now, the key to this story, to story number six, is there's no turning back now, no matter if you give up. Throw in the towel, retire. People have passed away. The fight is still on. And that's why story number six is so exciting because we're still in the fight. We still have to get up and fight the virus. Get better. Get well. Move on. The saga continues. Story number seven in the top two international headlines of developing news stories that made it in this week. More people than ever are going hungry, and that's not good news. Food banks have been really, really busy, and it's because of the pandemic. It's so bad that Jeff Bezos' former wife had to donate some millions to the uh, to the market, to the food banks. She even donated some to an Ohio food bank. Now, one report by USA Today points out the fact that over 600 parents who were separated from their children at the border are still missing. And those children and their parents could possibly be on that hunger list because a lot of people are going hungry inside of this virus. Well, there are a lot of people eating. And uh, I know what happens when people cannot get fed. Even a expired peanut butter and jelly sandwich tastes good. Now, a report by Fox News says that more Americans have been stealing to survive and eat during the pandemic. Now, let me remind you, it's the holidays. I'll say it one more time. 
It's the holidays. Another report by Fox News says that kids have been writing some very, very sad letters to Santa Claus this year, asking for some very, very basic necessities. Story number seven will help us appreciate the little things this year. Story number eight and the top international headline and developing news story that made in this week. Big, big headline. If you thought the health care job was easy, you're wrong. Now. Let's get into this top story. One USA Today report claims that healthcare workers have been bitten, silenced, ignored, hit, and even kicked in the battle to defeat COVID-19. Hospitals have reported an increase of about 60% in the rate of attacks. Sitting on record profits, hospital staff and workers have reported attacks in the ER and ICU, while some have thrown in the towel and retired. One ER doctor in Arizona was fired because he opened up about the severity of COVID-19. Healthcare workers worked day and night and are still working day and night to not only uh, to not only they've not only discovered a, a vaccine and science, but uh, they're they're on the for they're on the front lines and many are still fighting on the front lines. Story number eight will have every child believing in something greater this holiday season and parent. As the need for healthcare workers grows, the growing need for a healer, savior, and love and hope during this time of year is also needed. For those who have passed on and for those still on the battlefield, uh, is those who still believe in something greater in this life. If you are out there, now is, is the time to not only tell your story, but to listen and learn from those who have come before Come and who are coming after because the next generation is watching everything that we adults are doing and they themselves will have to pick up and read about the stories from the past to the present to the future so keep an eye on certain rate that's why I made it to the top this week and uh, I like to say this Merry Christmas well, those are our top eight headlines and developing news stories that I made in this week. I hope you have a good holiday no matter which way you celebrate. I want to thank you so much for tuning in. I always get something out of doing the research. I hope you got something out of today's program. As usual, i like to thank all the people on the front lines, the news, the journalists. You deserve all the credit, the media, all the people who are getting the stories. I'm just a mediator. If you want to show us some support, it doesn't take much. All you have to do is visit our website, buy something, click on something, watch something, read something, or just sponsor a program. Well, I'll be back next week, Lord willing, looking through over 200 or more stories to keep you informed. Please, please, please have a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holiday Season, no matter which way you celebrate. Be thankful this year. Be very, very thankful. We all are almost there to 2021. Thanks so much for tuning in this week. I am out of here. Getting ready to watch someone, it could be me, on the roof in my Santa Claus suit. Trying to deliver something. I know the birds will Just for the kids. Have a good week, everybody. Thank you for tuning to the mediator of the B, Brian West. Peace. Have no fear, fellow citizens. The mediator is here.